What's up guys, welcome to G Whiskey, my name's Jeff. Now this is a channel where I offer my thoughts and opinions on a specific whiskey, and if you stick around to the end, I'll be giving it a score as well. If that sounds interesting, hit subscribe down below. And with that out of the way, why don't we jump into our review? Today we're gonna to be looking at Le Jag 18 year old. Stick around. Now I've been looking forward to this review for a little while, and that's because I love Le Jag. I think Le Jag is one of the best brands out there. And I say brands because it's not a distillery. It's from the Tobermory Distillery on the Isle of Mull. This is going to be their peated distillate. So if it's peated, it's Le Jag. If it's unpeated, it's Tobermory. Um, but yeah, we've got an 18-year-old Le Jag today, apparently finished in sherry casks. And from what I can find online, they're Oloroso sherry casks. And of course, I love my sherried whiskey, but I also love the flavor profile of unsherried Le Jag. So Le Jag plus sherry should be a match made in heaven. Um, now this is a follow-up to my review of the 10-year-old. Really like the 10-year-old banger of a whiskey. I'll link it up here. Um, but having done the 10 and having done the 18, that basically means I've worked my way through the entire core range. Uh, they do have a series of special releases out there, special wine finishes, cask finishes, etc. But the core range is basically just the 10 and the 18. Now the bottle I've got here is actually batch three, and according to Whiskey Base, it's a bit of an older one. Uh, I think this one came out in like 2016, so that would make it like five years old. What you'll find probably near you and what you'll find online these days is going to be batch four, and that came out in 2019. Um, but 2019 was also the year, the year that they kind of revamped their lineup, uh, and I'm not sure. I've clicked on the pictures online and tried to zoom in on batch four, trying to find any mention of batches or it being batch four. I didn't see anything online. Maybe if you haven't and you've seen it on the box, let me know down in the comments because as far as I can tell, I don't know that they're doing batches anymore. They might have just standardized their 18 year old. Anyway, if you know anything about that, do let me know down in the comments because I am kind of curious there. Um, yeah, what else? Okay, names. Uh, I I call this Lejeg. I know that might be the wrong way to say it. If you watched my last video, I tried to get it right. I think the way you're supposed to say it is Lejeg. Try to get the, through the whole video saying it properly. In this one, I'm just going to give up and call it Lejeg. My last review was Aberlauer Abana. I always call it a Bunnid. I think I slipped up a couple times in that one too. I think from now on, I'm just going to go with the way I say it. And if you have a problem with that, if you're a stickler for uh, correct pronunciation, feel free to yell at me down in the comments. Um, so yeah, why don't we jump into our review of this one. If you could kindly leave a like down below, that'd be great. And let's find out what this guy's all about, yeah? With regard to specs, we have an ABV of 46.3%. Uh, and that's kind of the standard ABV that you can get with most Distel Group bottlings or Distel Company bottlings. Distel, they own uh, obviously Le Jag Tobermory. They also own Deanston and Bunnahabin. Um, beyond that, this is also unchill filtered, non-chill filtered, however you say it. And for color, they don't mention anything on Whiskey Base or a few other English websites. I checked out the German websites, turns out it's not colored either, so everything's looking good. Now I'll show you our color here. It's a pretty dark color, especially considering it's just a finish. Um, so yeah, dark, dark whiskey. Uh, if you watch my review of the 10, you know that I do like these bottles. I think they're modern, they're slick, they're stylish. Pretty transparent, you can see the level of the liquid, you can enjoy its natural color. There's not a lot of fluff, they keep it pretty simple. All of that looks good. I give the 10 a four and a half out of five for presentation. This one, I'm gonna give a full five out of five. I like the little red accents on the label. They go great with that dark color of the whiskey. Um, it looks really premium. Uh, beyond that, I don't usually talk about boxes, but we got our, our wood box here. Uh, fancy, fancy. So yeah, it's one that looks great on the bar shelf. All right, let's check out our nose. Okay. Um, no tasting notes. I'm just going to give you a bunch of adjectives here. This is funky. Cheesy, stinky, fermenty, not a word, smoky, peaty, briny, dirty, and fruity. It's awesome. Now let's try the palate. Okay, so the, the peat and the sherry, they kind of hit you in tandem there. This is pretty ashy. Um, you have creosote, you have maraschino cherries, red berries, red apples. Um, there's like rubber in here and old cheese. Finish. Mm. 
Mm. Ooh. Okay. Things are getting more funky and fun here. There's more cheese. Uh, here in Asia, there's a lot of uh, stinky tofu going around. I get a note from that as well, like a fermented note. Um, you also have ash, leather, uh, rubber, kind of like cherry hard candy, cherry flavored hard candy, wood bonfire. It's dirty, it's farmy, super unique, special, really special. So I think it's pretty obvious that I like this one. I think the sherry adds a lot of layers to it and it's adding layers to a character that I already enjoy a lot. Uh, and the result is something really unique. Um, I can promise you've never had a whiskey like this. Now you might be wondering how it is that I'm drinking a dram from an unopened bottle here. And that's because that's my second bottle. I love this one so much I had to get a backup, especially knowing that uh, batch 3 is now phased out. Batch 4 has yet to make its way to Taiwan. When it does, I'll be snatching that one up too. So clearly I'm pretty enthusiastic about this one. I like it personally, but I feel like I should give you a warning here. This is not going to be a whiskey for everyone. Um, it's not just a matter of I like peat, I like sherry, I like island whiskeys, therefore I'm going to like this. Uh, you might not. Like I said, there's some really funky, really unique flavors in here. Now, of course, it does have some notes that you would expect from a peated islander. You know, peat, smoke, brine, sea air, that's all there. It's also sherry and you've got your red fruits in there. Um, but it's cheesy, it's funky, it's fermented, it's dirty, it's farmy. It's definitely an oddball. But for me personally, I like all of those flavors, so I'm going to give this a score of 93. It's a super weird one, but I think that weirdness gives it complexity and character. It's just a fun one to explore. And beyond that, ranks pretty highly in terms of reachability. It's a whiskey that I come back to very often. One thing that I should warn you about is that this is one that takes time to open up. That means don't go through it the day you pop it. Give it a few days, better yet a few weeks. Let it interact with some air before you really dig into it. For value, I think this is reasonably priced for an 18-year-old. Um, aside from their cask releases, those special releases that they have, Lejeg 10 and 18, I think, are both very fairly priced. Obviously, this is the premium one. It's going to be more than double the price of the 10-year-old. I think it's worth it. Again, it's a super weird one, though. If you can, sample it before you buy it. If you can't, I don't know. I like it a lot. Based on my recommendation, yeah, just try it anyway. It's a great one. Okay, that'll be it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, hit subscribe down below, click that little bell icon, and of course, smash the like. I do want to hear from you. Have you tried Lejeg 18? Was it batch 3, batch 4? What were your thoughts? Finally, down in the comments, let me know what you want to see me review next. I'll keep it in mind for my next video. Bye, guys.